All right, folks. Welcome back. Um, I'm here to do, I'm here to do a uh, request video. This just came in. Uh, someone gave me this chart, and they wanted to know where to get the numbers from. So uh, let me go ahead and explain this chart to you. In this chart, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the given information and trying to figure out where things belong. Okay. Well, let's see what we know about this chart that we have here. Um, first of all, we need to know that sulfur is our element, okay, and it's the only element that is given to us. But we need to look in this one column right here. Now, before we can do anything else, we need a periodic table. So make sure you get a periodic table. I've got one right here, so I'm going to be referring to it back and forth. All right, so sulfur, okay, I need sulfur. So if you look on the periodic table, you notice that sulfur is in column 16 and it's located right here. There's the name sulfur and there's the letter S for sulfur. So what we're going to do is we're going to put its symbol right here. S. Okay. Let me get my brush and write that in. S for sulfur. Now we need to know how many protons we have for sulfur. Now remember if you're doing the nucleic symbols you're uh, your symbol for protons is the letter Z. Okay, so anyway, um, looking on the periodic table, we can get that information. Notice that we have uh, sulfur in column 16, but it's the 16th element. Do y'all see that? If you can't see that, let me zoom in for you. Uh, notice that sulfur is the 16th element on the periodic table 13, 14, 15, 16. Since it's the 16th element on the periodic table, then it has 16 uh, protons. Whoops. Okay, so we'll write 16 here. Now, over here, this is our mass number. Now, doing, writing the uh, nucleic symbol notation and all that, uh, the mass number is the value A. Now, the mass number is achieved by taking the number of protons and adding the number of neutrons. Okay, so in order to get the number of neutrons here, what we would do is we would take this 36 and we would subtract 16 and we would get 20. So that's how you get the number of neutrons. Okay, now if you look, we've given all the information that's needed for this row. We've got sulfur, which is the symbol S, with 16 protons, and 20 neutrons with a mass number of 36. Now, if you were wondering how to write that as a nucleic symbol, what we would have is the letter S for sulfur. Its mass number is 36. It would be written up here. Now sometimes they include the 16 down here, sometimes they do not. And if it has no charge, you don't write anything here. Now the reason why this one does not have any charge is because the number of protons is equaling the number of electrons. So um, if you were wondering, well how many electrons does this sulfur have? Well this sulfur, since it does not have a charge, has 16 electrons. Okay, now let's look at the next one. In this um, row of information, <laughs> all that is given is GA for the symbol of the element and 38 for the neutrons. So let's see what we can do with this GA. Pull up your periodic table, look around, look around, look around, look around, and you'll see that GA is right here. Notice that its name is gallium. In case you cannot see that, I'll zoom in a little bit more. If you look, you'll see that GA is gallium. It's the 31st element. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back and write that in here. Gallium. I believe it was G A L L I U M. Gallium. Make sure. G A L L I U M. Great. Now, we said, looking at the periodic table, that it's the 31st element. So, what does that mean? That's right. It has 31 protons. So let's go ahead and write that here. 31. Now you need to remember that the mass number is achieved by adding the number of protons and neutrons. 
So what we have here then is 38 plus 31. Now that adds up to 69. We have a mass number of 69. Now once again, how do you write this as a nucleic symbol? All you would do is you write the symbol GA. Its mass number is 69. You put it up here. Its atomic number is 31. You'll write that there. Now we're done with that row. Now this one gets a little bit interesting. In the third row here, we do not know the element's name, we do not know the element symbol, and we do not know the number of protons. Usually these three things are the most important things to know. But they were nice enough to tell us the mass number and the number of neutrons. So from this, we can calculate the number of protons. What we're going to do is we're going to take 88 and we're going to subtract 51. Now when we do this, we will get 37. So what we need to do is we need to focus on finding the 37th element on our periodic table. Okay, so let's go find this 37th element. Hmm, let's see, 32, 33, 34, I'm not here, 35, 36, oh! Man, I gotta go all the way back. So let's go all the way back. 37, 37, 37, 37. Here it is. Rubidium. RB. Okay. So let's write that one down. RB. Hmm. I could go for some RB. So what about y'all? Uh, I will I will mind a roast beef sandwich. RB. I know, you're thinking, ha, 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 talking on a video about going and getting to eat food. All right, RB. Rubidium. R U B I D I U M. Rubidium. I didn't write my M. Rubidium. We'll make sure I spelled that right. R U B I D I U M. Yes, got it. Alright, next on the last row here. Oh, yeah, we need to write this as a nucleic symbol, don't we? I know you're saying, no, you really don't have to, but we're going to. Alright, rubidium. RB. And what goes up here? That's right, the mass number. Now what's its mass number? Its mass number was 88. So let's write 88 up here. Okay, now what goes down here? That's right, the atomic number. What's our atomic number? 37 protons. That's right. So let's write 37 here. And what's its charge? That's right, no trons. No, excuse me, no charge. The reason why there is no charge is because the number of protons is equaling the number of electrons here. So we're good. Okay, so we're done with that one. Last but not least, this last row. We're looking for the 47th element on the periodic table. So let's find it. 47, let's see, 39, 40, 21, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, right there. Silver, AG, AG baby. So let's write that down. AG, silver. S I L V E R. Oh man, silver. Now remember to get the mass number, we add up this 47 and this 61. And what does that give us? It looks like it's 108. 1 plus 7 is 8. Yeah, 108. Okay, let's write its nucleic symbol. Um, we have A G. What's its mass number? That's right. It's 108. That's the number of protons and neutrons. Where does it go? At the top or at the bottom? That's right. It goes at the top. So we're at 108. And what goes at the bottom? That's correct. The atomic number, which is the number of what? That's right. The number of protons. So let's write it here. 47. And what's its charge? That's correct. There is no charge because why? That's correct. The number of protons equals the number of electrons. All right, guys. Well, I hope this was helpful uh, filling in this information, this chart. Um, if you need anything else, just let me know, and I'll make a video for you guys. All right. Y'all have a great day.